Before the video starts, I just want to say thank you for 50 subscribers. And as promised, giveaway at the end of the video. The next goal will be 100 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe. Alright, I'm a Kiso ATP with almost 2 million mastery points on her, and yes, don't worry, I do touch grass. Sometimes. But anyway, I played it top where I got masters, and I made their ADC for years now. With split 2 coming in less than 10 days, I wanted to make a quick build guide for Kesa so you guys have some idea on what's going on her, since she's quite strong right now. Let's start with the super important question here. Do you go HOB or do you go LT? It doesn't matter. Kesa is first and foremost a chain you wanna be comfortable with. So don't pick HOB just because you saw a pro pick it just so after 20 minutes you still haven't landed a single Halo Blade auto attack. Yes, this happens way too often. Point is, LT and HOB are both good right now, so pick the one you prefer. HOB gives you more lane control and power, while LT has a stronger mid to late game scaling. So if you're someone that wants to be aggressive in lane, then L Blades is probably better for you. But if you're someone that, that likes to play a game more passive and prefer team fighting, then Little Tempo is probably a better choice. And of course, you can play both if you want to adapt every game. One thing though, if you're a Nukisa player or a returning player, I recommend going for LT so you have time to get used to the champ. With that out of the way, let's go over items now. By the way, a couple things. I'll be focusing on the core builds, that means only the first 3 items. Because for most cases, the 4th and 5th item depend on the game itself. If you want more AD, you can go for something like a LDR and GA. If you want more AP, dead cap Zonyas. Also, for the boots, for every ADC build in this guide, it's overall better to go for the taxi boots. Unless you're building hybrid and the AMI team is getting a lot of MR, so in this case, source boots are actually an option. Finally, if you want a shorter version of this item guide, I made a post about them on Twitter, links will be in the description below. Even with the static nerf, hybrid Kesa still remains overall better than AD due to her strong AP ratios on her passive. So if you're new to Kesa or just don't know what to build, I recommend going for static, nasher, RB. This is by far the most popular build on Kesa right now and even with the changes to shave, it should remain good. This build is really comfortable, perfect for front to back teamfighting, it gives you everything you need. Good wave clear, good DPS, good burst and you have access to items like Zarnia. And even if your Q-Illusion is a bit delayed, your static shave will compensate for that. A good variation of this build is Static Nasher Ludens, which is pretty much AP Kesa but for bot lane. But instead of going for a passive build like Man Unit, you go Static, so you can actually fight with the support and have some sort of impact in the early game. Mid to late game, this build is poke focused and is really good when your team lacks good engage and you're facing a lot of poke like Zerat, Ezreal or Jace. Then we have my favorite ADC build for Season 13, which is Kraken, Navri, Nasher. This is what I call Earth Kesa, since it puts all your abilities to a 2-3 second cooldown while still doing some good damage. This is a great build when you need to kite and I, I would recommend it into bruisers when your team doesn't have the best engage. Finally, we have the build from Reptile that I really enjoyed playing recently, which is Dirk into Mamune, Nasher and Dustblade. The added Dirk makes your lane way stronger and perfect when facing assassins and fighters. With all the added bursts, it's really easy to one-shot them before they one-shot you. Now, although I found this build really fun, it's a situational build, because as soon as you start facing tankier teams, this build drops in damage so hard. So only build it versus squishy assassins or fighters like Zed, Talon, Yon, and so on. Now, if you don't like hybrid Kesa and you prefer AD, then here you go. Just remember that AD Kesa right now is weaker than what she was at the start of Season 13. In terms of build, if you're new to Kesa, I recommend going for Kraken, Navari with Renan's Hurricane or Phantom Dancer. This is by far the most consistent AD Kesa build with good crit evolution, good DPS no matter, no matter the matchup, and Navari offers some nice kiting. Now between Renan's Hurricane and Phantom Dancer, it depends if you need more kiting or not. You could also go with AI instead of Navari. Infinity Edge gives you more tank shred with the added crit damage it does. Finally, I know some people will wonder, what about Bork? The problem with Blade is that it just doesn't fit well right now. You could on paper build it after Navari, but it only really works when you're facing champions that build a lot of HP like mages or bruisers like Darius, Swain or Cassidy. Now, I cannot escape it, I don't like this build, but it does work. So let's talk about Shiny Society Kesa. You've probably seen this build pop around the internet recently, so let me give a bit of context here. The idea of building Lethality on Kesa has been around for years now, and always come back up when AD Crit Kesa is weaker, like right now. The objective of the build is to get as much as damage as possible on Kesa Q through Lethality, while playing really aggressive. So if you're new to Kesa, do not play this build, because if you don't get ahead, you won't have much damage in the mid game. But if you're someone that likes to play aggressive, then here's the build path. You start with 2 dirts, then into Collector, ER, Dustblade, and Nasher for W. By the way, if you try this, try to get a CC support so you can snowball your lane. And there you go! This should cover the build so you get a bot lane. Now, what about AP Kesa bot with Mana Mune? To be honest, if you really want to go for AP Kesa bot, it's just better to go with Static, since at least there you can do something early game and you can play with your team. 
Now let's go over top lane quickly. By the way, if you want to know more about mid lane Kessa builds, I recommend watching Snappy OC. He main Kessa mid for years now, so he knows more than me. What thing though, the build I use top lane can be used mid lane. Alright, first the room page. Nothing has changed compared to my older videos about it, except now you can ditch mana for ban for gathering the storm versus tanks or easy matchups, like Singe, since anyway you won't be using mana all that much. As for items, it's pretty simple. Mana Mune into Ludens, into Urzen Focus, into Dead Cap or Voice Staff versus tanks, and one more AP item of your choice. Now you can also go for Shadow Flame if you prefer. Me personally, I prefer Urzen Focus because it's more comfortable in terms of build path and it does a bit more damage versus targets with no shields. Just remember that you can also go for a more aggressive build like Shiv or Mana Mune Nasher if you're facing a ranged champ like Vayne or Quinn. And with that, giveaway time. The next goal will be 100 subscribers, so like last time, I'll be giving away one epic skin, but this time, it's open for NA and also EOS players. So if you're from these regions, the only thing you, the only thing you need to do is subscribe and just type in a comment, I participate. And that's it. And with that, good luck for your climb for the next split, and thanks for watching.